Hi, I'm Tommy, and in this episode of Tommy's Thoughts On, I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts on the fifth episode of the fifth season of one of my favorite shows ever, Charmed. And uh, the name of this episode is called uh, Witches in Tights. And as you might have guessed by that uh, name, or maybe you've watched this episode, um, it's uh, essentially Charmed's take on superheroes. And even, especially with names like, like this, which is Witches in Tights, of course this show is gonna take the opportunity to put uh, the three sisters into super sexualized outfits. I mean, I can't say I'm surprised, and the outfits do look pretty fucking cool, but... I don't know, I don't know. I'm not even the kind of person, like, to really harp on shit like this, but it just feels weird. It feels wrong for me to even try to enjoy them into these outfits. It just feels wrong. And I think that if the fact that it feels wrong is a good thing, but... Man, I guess, I mean, this show is a product, product of its time, so I can't really judge it by modern standards, but it is really disgusting to see this level of sexualization in a show that I want to enjoy, you know? But yeah, um... I'm not exactly sure how I feel about this episode, I kind of feel like I want to put it be somewhere between the last two because it feels better than Happily Ever After in terms of its villain but it also feels very corny and uh, uninteresting just like uh, uh, Happily Ever After but we're gonna get to that so let's see where do we start so in this episode we have uh, a teenage character who has actually a really cool superpower or i guess just simply a power not really a superpower which allows him to make anything that he draws into a reality and i gotta say that is actually a really cool power and i didn't realize how cool of a power that is until um i think i was like maybe eight or nine around that point in time i actually had owned a certain dvd for quite a long time uh of a movie called imaginum i'm not sure whether that's what the name of that movie is uh in english it's an animated movie um i honestly expected it to be a bad movie but when i watched it it was actually a pretty decent movie and in that movie the characters uh developed the power to create anything that I could imagine. So since then I've always liked this kind of power and it's one of the coolest superpowers to have because with it you can literally make anything frankly. So I actually feel like in this episode they could have used it in a more interesting way than simply what we got but it was fine I guess. But I just feel like there was more creativity they could have employed in this episode especially because the bad guy of this episode who is played by this guy uh i think his name was morgan shepherd i'm probably uh, i would probably have put that as a thumbnail maybe even but anyway i'm still gonna put a picture uh actually on this side i'm gonna put a picture uh of the actor here i actually really like this actor i saw him uh in uh Another one of my favorite shows, Doctor Who. He was in uh, two episodes in series six. Um, and he was really cool. Apparently, he's also been in Supernatural, if I'm getting this right. So he's a pretty popular actor, but I really enjoyed him. He really elevated the episode for me, and I really liked him as a villain. I just wish he actually got to do some more cool stuff and have some interesting powers, because in the, the episode, he actually doesn't really have any powers he that's why he employs the teenage character who can create things with his imagination to uh kill the charms or it's more about uh killing an elder uh, one of the elders who controls the white lighters and everything and get his powers because uh the plot of the episode is also that one of the elders is supposed to pass down his powers to somebody else because he's retiring and this also brings me, and I know I'm kind of uh, trying to talk about too many stuff, but this brings me back to another of my complaints from the last two review reviews, in which I criticize the fact that this show really doesn't have a consistent viewing, a consistent opinion on whether white lighters and elders, in this case, 
are just human beings with powers or just beings with powers or they're actual supernatural beings because like you would think if they are elders they should not be able to pass down their powers you know like how does that make sense like it's the same shit like from last episode in which we had leo switch powers with piper why are they passing pa powers to somebody else they're supposed to be beings not humans with powers and i know they're technically still beings with power but i don't know i just feel like that kind of ruins the higher authority thing that they have what's the point of them being higher authority if they're just creatures with powers beings with powers i don't know it just kind of ruins it in my opinion a little bit but that's fine honestly it's not really a big deal uh the biggest uh, development that we get from that plot uh, in this episode is that we get some foreshadowing about the baby that Leo and Piper are gonna have. Which I don't really want to talk about that right now because I've gone as far, I've like like I said, I've watched until episode uh, 15, I think it is. Uh, so the villain that Mark Shepard plays in this episode is called Arnon, so that's what I'm gonna be referring to, uh, to him as for the rest of this review. Um, he employs that boy to uh, go and uh, take the powers of the elder that is currently staying at the manor. And obviously that means that he is uh, going to have to deal with uh, the charmed ones. So uh, the boy turns himself into a superhero because this is a superhero team episode. And the one thing that I'm still not sure about uh, in regards to that superhero that he turns himself into is that it seems that that superhero is portrayed by Jason David Frank from Power Rangers. I mean, I don't know if that's him. I've tried to research about it and I don't think that's him, but he really looks and sounds like him a lot. Although maybe at that point in time, maybe Jason David Frank wouldn't be uh, quite old enough or maybe have the exact build that the guy portraying the superhero has in this episode but it just really sounds like him so that's something that i just wanted to point out because that was cool and he obviously obviously kicks their asses but they still defeat him at that time uh and he runs away um, so later on he tries again, uh, but at this time the kid, also because he was being pushed too hard by Arnon, uh, uses his powers to turn the sisters into superheroes. And again, uh, as I said in the beginning of the review, this show obviously uses the opportunity to sexualize them with very silly outfits. I'd say the only one that is actually tolerable... I mean, the only one that is actually bad is definitely Paige's one because she's the only one in a skirt and obviously a very low-cut shirt. But honestly, Phoebe and Piper's outfits are not really that much better. Piper definitely has the best one uh, that is the least sexualized, but it's still sexualizing, you know? Uh, and it's really cool how they right off the bat start to uh, deal with crime and stuff. It, it is really cool and admittedly the effects uh and the fights in this episode were actually pretty satisfying maybe because it's refreshing to have some different kind of fight choreography i guess instead of just superpowers explode uh teleport this into my hand you know it's a little refreshing to just have good old hand-to-hand -hand combat but even the effects for like the super speed and everything actually was pretty good for its time and for this show which is not really known for its good effects um but again in this episode, the most interesting plot point comes from Phoebe and Cole because obviously uh, Phoebe also got uh, the superpowers and she, uh, for the majority of the episode, had to deal with a very, uh, I don't know what to call him, very bad landlord guy who owns a bunch of apartments and is going to be kicking people out. Uh, of their apartment she was supposed to be telling a story about him and uh, there was actually a really funny line earlier in the episode when uh, she was accusing him and wanting to interview him at first but then started accusing him and uh, she warned that she was gonna write a story about what he's doing and he told her that he was gonna sue uh, her and her newspaper for libel and she asked 
how is he gonna sue her for libel uh, when she's telling the truth and the first thing that came to mind was the John Oliver episode on slap suits because I do watch John Oliver and you should too um, uh, and I was like I literally said out loud well I guess you haven't uh, really uh, gotten to the point of degradation of the US justice system uh, at this point in time so yeah that was a really funny line and uh, once she gets the superpowers for some reason she decides to dangle that guy off of a roof because I guess that's one way to get him to take care of the people and even though he says at the time that he will he doesn't really end up getting uh, to do anything with that because he is more busy finding out uh, uh, and threatening uh, Phoebe and Cole later in the episode with revealing the fact that she not Funnily enough, this time, not that they are witches or that she's a witch, but she's a superhero. And we're going to get to that in a sec. But it's really funny, uh, that whole sequence when Coach shows up on the rooftop. Because he says out loud Phoebe's name. She says his name out loud. And then he calls her out for, be for uh, talking... Uh, without care that uh, the guy might hear and learn their identities as if he clearly couldn't have heard the names that they just said out loud to each other so that was really funny to me but it was also a really fun and entertaining scene because I mean just the chemistry and anything to do with Cole is just fun and entertaining you know um, so yeah she lets him go and obviously because of what happened he's not gonna uh, help the people and let them stay he's obviously gonna try to find out more about uh, Phoebe and her superhero behavior and the things that she does and he does that uh, which is why at the end of the episode we have him threatening Cole that he's going to reveal his wife's little secret of being a superhero um, but Obviously, Cole is not gonna allow that. And he even threatens him that he also has certain powers that he doesn't like to use. Uh, because he doesn't like the things that he they do to him. Uh, and even the guy for a second is scared. Simply because of the way Cole looked at him. Which I thought was fucking badass. Um, but then he was like, whatever powers if he didn't believe him. And then Cole killed him. And Phoebe, again, like the stupid bitch that she is acts afraid of him it's like again you can argue maybe that there was another way that they could have dealt with with this guy possibly revealing a secret that uh, the girls have even though this in this case they're not even fucking uh, superheroes so even if they are what is going to happen to them like what's the danger there um, even though you can argue that uh, there might have been a better way to deal with it. It's not like it wasn't completely warranted because this guy was a fucking douchebag. He deserved to burn in hell anyway. But again, she acts as if he did something bad. And yeah, she wasn't there in the scene when he said that he doesn't like to use his powers. So, because the things they do to him. But like, I just, I, I, I just really feel like it's very contrived like the show really 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 tries to contrive a situation in which she is gonna still continue to be angry at Cole for no logical reason whatso fucking ever but yeah in the main plot with the elder guy and the Arnon villain who was a pretty cool villain like I legitimately liked every single scene that Mark Shepard was in um, because the kid because he finds out what the kid did and the fact that the kid failed at uh, beating up the the charmed ones. Uh, he also gets the power boost of turning into this uh, muscular superhero guy. And the thing that bothers me about that is that it's, he's supposedly more powerful than even uh, the kid ever was. But it's not really shown in any way on the outfit. He looks just as lame as he used to be before. And I don't know, it, it feels even lamer because he's supposed to be even more threatening than he was before. But now 
there's nothing really to show for it. He just fights debatably worse than he did before. So that was kind of underwhelming. And he even dies in kind of like an underwhelming way. He just gets blown up. But yeah, overall, I don't know. I, I just don't really know how I feel about this episode. There wasn't as much Cole and Phoebe stuff. So obviously I don't really get to enjoy it as much. Uh, there was also some uh, stuff about... Uh, Paige and her boyfriend in this episode and her not really being able to have pro sex properly with him because she uh, I think uh, orbs or something whenever she is close to you know what oh, it was either that or it was something that she wanted to reveal her, her secret to him but she was scared of scaring him away I'm not sure I don't remember which one of those plot points uh it was, but maybe it was both of them. I don't know. It genuinely might have been both of them because I de definitely remember her orbing while she has sex uh, being a plot point in one episode, but I don't know in which one it was, honestly. But yeah, at the end of the episode, we have uh, the elder guy pass on his powers to the kid with the imaginary uh, creation powers. And Everybody lives happily ever after, es except fucking Cole, and this is gonna continue to push him on a downward spiral that I honestly can't wait to talk about, but for today, this is going to be the last uh, review of an episode, uh, sadly. And in terms of a rating, I mean, I gave uh, episode 3 uh, 7.8 out of 10, I gave episode 4 8.1 out of 10, so I guess it makes sense that I'm going to give this one a 7.9 out of 10. It was better than Happily Ever After in terms of its villains again. And some of the interactions and moments in the episodes, like uh, mainly the ones with Cole, were really, really fun to watch. But there was also a lot of corny stupidity. But I, again, I did like the fight choreography in this episode. That was cool. But yeah. Overall, not too crazy, no, nothing really crazy interesting. There's definitely a one episode that I really want to uh, talk about later later in the season that is uh, really important, but I don't want to really spoil anything, so I'm, that's all I'm going to say about that episode. But yeah, um, before we end this video though, I just want to give a huge thanks to my two level 3 Patreons on Patreon, O. Murray Bridgman and White Shadow Wolfie. Again, uh, as I said in the other videos, if you want to join them in supporting me on Patreon, you can do that by going down in the description below and clicking on the link to the Patreon. You don't even have to support me at the same tire uh, as them, you can just subscribe to the lowest tire, which is like at $2, and allow me to do these videos uh, more frequently, and maybe even incentivize me uh, to do more videos, because you can point out that you've subscribed because of my charm video, so that's going to make me more likely... Uh, to do them because as a way to repay you for supporting me But if you don't want to do it, that's also completely fine And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did uh, please leave a like subscribe Also check out this uh, description to my Twitter if you want to follow me over there and to my Wattpad where I post my stories Because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer and if you don't enjoy my stories or you simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to Patreon where you can pledge support and help with the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine. You can still help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and especially sharing this video to somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye!